Now I know what you're probably thinking. Who is this guy? This is his Underworld 6667. I want the zero dollars back I paid to watch this video. Calm down, I'm here to get a guest upload, okay? Before I get into it, huge thanks to Dan for letting me post on his channel. It's really a big opportunity to be able to post on a bigger YouTube channel. But today I'm gonna talk about the YouTube Awards, cause you know that's still a pretty big prevalent topic right now. It seems a lot of you guys are still bitching about them and how much you hate them and how unfair the topics were. And all I have to say is, why? In case you didn't realize, the YouTube Awards are meant for comedy. Don't believe me? Just look at the topics. You guys treat this thing as if it's like the holy grail and it's the most important damn thing in the world. And you guys bash on this thing endlessly just because someone you mentioned or yourself didn't get mentioned on the awards. You are not the only YouTuber here, okay? A lot of people didn't get mentioned and therefore it causes a huge, huge uproar throughout the community of people like, Why the fuck am I not on here? I have great content! Yeah, well, all the YouTubers that got mentioned also have great content, okay? You guys focus way too hard into this video, thinking, Oh, why didn't I get mentioned? I should have been mentioned! I am the snuggliest YouTuber! And any comedic value the video once had has now been stripped, because you're too filled with rage to think of anything and laugh a little bit. I laughed my ass off when Robbie ripped his shirt off and said, Fuck this! I don't need my shirt! I'm apparently the best dullest around! That was fucking hilarious! But I bet you guys were too busy wondering why the fuck wasn't I mentioned under X category. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. I mean, this is a mind blower, I'm telling you right now. You can do your own YouTube awards. <laughs> MCOL40 has not copyrighted the YouTube awards. Anybody can do a YouTube award that they want to. It's really not that big of a deal either. Sure, shoutouts are a big deal when it comes to big YouTubers shouting out smaller YouTubers, but you should be able to get those on your own, on your own incentive. Right now, I'm comparing you guys to this one scenario I saw online. Imagine in this scenario, you guys are the customer, and the person serving the customer in the drive-thru is Robbie Cool. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's just think of McNuggets in my hand. I don't want to hear Jerry. it. It's 10 30 a.m. We don't serve chicken McNuggets at this time. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Why not? Because we have McNuggets. Holy shit! Oh no! Don't make me assume my ultimate form. I will fuck you up. Just wait. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna wreck you. So as you can see, you look like an idiot sitting in the drive-thru bashing on this person that doesn't have chicken McNuggets. We don't serve chicken McNuggets this early. I can't give you chicken nuggets because I don't have them. You didn't get enough votes to be in the awards. You're not in the awards. I'm sorry. The thing that really pisses me off, guys, though, is that you voted for who won the awards. You nominated the people to get the awards. You voted for who won the awards. Just because your name on didn't get noticed on there doesn't mean you can go off in a fit of rage. Someone else thought person X was better than you. Sorry. And sure, you may think you have better content than this person, but other people didn't. And that's just the way of the game. So instead of stressing over why you're not the snuggliest YouTuber, you should try to focus on the comedic value behind the video, because it's actually really funny. So instead of going, oh, this is unacceptable, why am I not on this list, or why is somebody I mentioned not on this list? Make your own damn list, and maybe somebody will focus on that. If it's really that big of an issue that you have to get an award to get noticed, maybe you're doing something wrong. Try to contact bigger YouTubers. Try to get your name out. I know asking isn't exactly the easiest thing, because you're asking someone and you're not giving them anything in return. But there's just things you gotta do to get noticed in the YouTuber community. If you want an award, get bigger. Make it your goal to get an award. Focus harder on the content and make out better content so you will get noticed and hopefully get nominated for an award. Overall, the YouTube Awards, fucking hilarious. If you guys would've focused on it, it was really funny and it was a really good time watching it. Thanks for watching guys. Again, huge thanks to Dan for letting me post a video on his channel. It's really a large opportunity, a smaller YouTuber being able to post on a bigger YouTube channel to get their name out. I can't thank him enough and it's really a great opportunity. Thank you, Dan. But if you guys like my content or if you like this video, feel free to mosey over to my channel to go view some more. But you know, thanks for watching guys. Nim Nim out.